Yo, what's going on everybody? It is straight out of Boston here and today we are back for episode number 19 of my Chicago Bears franchise here on Madden NFL 17 and today we're back with the 2018 or 2000, I don't know if this would be the technically 2017 or 2018 but either way it's happening in 2018, it's for the 2017 season, it's the NFC Championship, we're taking on the Green Bay Packers, they defeated the Dallas Cowboys in the divisional matchup 27 to 21, so take a look at the final four here in the NFL, Green Bay and Chicago, a rematch of that same NFC Championship from the year Green Bay went on to win the Super Bowl. And then Den Den Denver and Tennessee in the AFC, a little bit surprising. Um, kind of surprised. Denver's been able to uh, rebound from losing Peyton Manning so easily. And kind of surprised that Tennessee's progressed to this point. I mean, they're already a team that's in the AFC Championship only in year two of this. So props to both of those teams. We're getting things started here. It's Aaron Rodgers on the first drive of the game trying to drive his team down the field, but Leonard Floyd chasing him. He still gets the pass off somehow to Devontae Adams, who makes the catch. Then later in the drive, it's third and four, and it's Jordy Nelson making that grab, getting the first down. So Rodgers is three or four to start. Now third and three from the 16-yard line. Eddie Lacy up the middle, trying to pound his way forward. He does get just enough for the first, so three plays later, it's third and eight. Rodgers dropping back, tons of time, fires it short. He's got his man Adams fighting for that first down, and he would get it. So two plays later now, second and goal, handoff to Diamond Ball, he's stopped in the backfield by Lamar Houston, third and goal now from the four yard line, Rodgers dropping back, he fires it into the flat, Lacey evades Taz Brandon and gets his way into the end zone for the touchdown and the Packers are on the board first, they take an early 7-0 lead. How will the Bears respond? It's Rashawn Diedrich in for the injured Jordan Taylor, he takes his first handoff of the game 12 yards up the left sideline. That's a big gain. Now it's second and eight from the 39. It's Cornelius catching the hitch route, breaking a tackle, and making a nice gain right there. Now Adcock looking on first and ten for Kenny Stills, who makes the grab. That's a gain of 16. Adcock is three of three to start out. Now a play action fake. Adcock looking over the middle. He's got Stills once again on first down. So he is four of four now from the eight yard line. That would put him now to the two. Adcock is just going to slip inside the defense right there and he is going to cross the pylon for the rushing touchdown so Adcock gets the Bears on the board and we would tie this game up at seven here early in the second quarter now Rodgers and the Packers with the ball back on offense third and 11 he fires it to Lacey but a good tackle it seems took another man to get him down but good play by the Bears defense so we get the ball back now not great field position though when it's third and 15 and Adcock looking at finding his man right there, reading the defense, going through to his last progression, seeing Stills wide open on the sideline. That was a nice pitch and catch on third down. First and 10, Diedrich up the middle. He's going to pick up a gain of about seven. Now second and three from the 36. Adcock looking over the middle. There is Alshon Jeffrey across midfield. He's got a gain of 22 yards. Now three plays later, it's third and 10. Adcock stepping up in the pocket, but he is hit, and he is brought down. It's Kenny Clark coming through the first round pick out of UCLA and the Packers will get the ball back and it's Eddie Lacy making a move and he's down the sideline into the open field finally chased down by Taz Brandon but Lacy with a huge gain all the way down to the 22 yard line now second and 11 from the 23 it's Rodgers over the middle he's got his man that is Henry going for the first down now from the four yard line second a goal Rodgers looking to the corner he had Henry but he couldn't get the feet in bounds so third and goal now from the four yard line hand out to Lacey who balls over I think that was Akeem Hicks and uh, just stiff arms stiff arms him to the face and has got the touchdown now the Bears the ball back towards the end of the first half it's Zach Miller making the catcher a little two minute drill here from Chicago as they would surely like to get more points on the board here before the half. Kenny Stills down the right side of the field right there. He gets across the 50-yard line with a nice grab. So to the 48 we go. And now still two timeouts for Chicago. It's Adcock going up. And he's going to draw the flag. Alshon Jeffrey was the intended target. And he went up and felt the contact. And they're going to make the call. So it's going to be an automatic first down from the two-yard line now for Chicago. Second and goal from the eight. And it's going to be Miller on the slam play. He was open in the flat, dives to the pylon, and is in. And just like that, this game is tied and would be tied as we head into the break now. And taking a look at the halftime stats, we are out gaining them through the air. But they are out rushing us with Lacey getting that one big run, contributing to a lot of that difference. We get the ball here to start the third quarter. It's Kevin White and Kevin White down the sideline in the open field. One man chasing him, but it's not going to be enough. Kevin White takes the opening kick of the second half all the way back, but there is a flag on the play, 
and it's going to be coming back. An illegal block in the back on Zach Miller negates the touchdown. So instead of six, we will start the drive from the 13-yard line now. Second and six from the 17. It's Cornelius on the out route, making the grab there, gaining 15 yards. Now a handoff to Diedrich up the middle. He's going to pick up nine more on that first down handoff. Second and one. Back to the ground game we go. Diedrich with another big hole. Trying to bounce to the outside. Gets hit pretty hard by HaHa -Ha Clinton Dix, but gets a big gain nonetheless. First and 10 from the 49-yard line. Adcock deep drop back. Finally dumps this one off to Miller over the middle. Who's going to grab that one and pick up a first down. Now second and five. Play action fake. Another dump off to the flat. This time it is to the halfback. And that is going to be good for a first down. Now Diedrich taking this hand off. Up the middle and he's in. Touchdown Bears. And Chicago takes the lead for the first time here today. In the beginning of the third quarter, 21 to 14 is the score. Now, how will the pack respond? It's Rodgers finding Henry's tight end over the middle. He's going to pick up a gain of 17 yards and a first down right there. Rodgers, an efficient 13 to 15 through the air so far today, but only 105 yards. A lot of short passes. That one's not so short. Across the 25 and finally brought down right inside of the red zone right there. So the Packers now with another great scoring opportunity. It's Lacey up the middle. He's going to pick up an easy 12 yards right there. Another new set of downs for the Packers. Another hand out to Lacey. He's finally going to be stopped this time right at the one yard line. Third and goal coming up here from the one. Hand out to Lacey and he's hit in the backfield and stop. Pernell McPhee got back there and that's going to force the Packers to settle for a field goal. A huge goal line stand right there. For the Chicago defense. Now how will the offense respond? That ball's tipped in. Intercepted. Jake Ryan with the play. It was actually HaHa -Ha Clinton Dix who came up and tipped that ball in the midair. He made the initial play on it and it kind of fell into the arms of Jake Ryan. But now the Packers get the ball back with good field position. And a chance to try and take the lead on this drive. Devontae Adams down the sideline. He's got a gain of 15 all the way down to the 17 yard line here. As we close out the third quarter into the fourth. Now Rodgers on third and one from the eight. Dubbing it up to Lacey, but another nice tackle this time. Courtesy of K1 Williams. And once again, we hold Green Bay to a field goal. But they're going to go for it on fourth and five. Rodgers dropping back out of the shotgun. He's got his man Henry into the end zone for the touchdown. So the decision to go for it on fourth pays off. Green Bay gets into the end zone, and they have the lead, 24-21. Now, how will the Bears respond? Play action fake. It's Adcock finding Stills, who's wide open there, using his speed to pick up some yards after the catch. That's a gain of 19 yards. Now, another play action fake. Adcock looking into, they're looking in the flat there for his dump off, and it's Diedrich picking up a gain of 11. Now, from the 39-yard line, first and 10 here for Adcock. He gets in as he throws the ball, is on the ground, and it's recovered by Green Bay. So the Packers take over now, seven and a half minutes to play, and they've got the ball in good field position. If they could even just add on one more field goal, it would make it a full six-point game, meaning Chicago need a touchdown next time down. Lacey getting just enough for the first down there. You can see he's been a workhorse today, 22 carries for 125 yards. Now Randall Cobb on the out route, picking up a gain of five and uh, almost enough for the first down. It's third and inches, though. Lacey on third and inches. He gets hit, he kind of runs into his offensive lineman there. He would be stopped short. So it's fourth and inches, no going forward here this time for Green Bay. They take the field goal and make it a 27-21 game. So the Bears now have about five minutes to try and take the lead here on this drive. They need a touchdown and an extra point to do just that. And you can see it is Zachary Cornelius getting us started with the grab on the comeback right there. Good for a first down. Now two plays later, second and eight. It is Cornelius again this time over the middle. He's going to get a lot of yards after the catch right there across midfield to the 39-yard line. First and 10 from the 39. Next play for the Bears corner, or it's Adcock actually stepping up in the pocket, and he's going to run the ball there for a gain of about six. Third and six now, two plays later. It's Adcock looking short. It's Miller, but kind of stumbles there when he grabbed that one, so he couldn't keep on his feet. That sets up fourth down. On fourth, it's another short pass, but Peterman's got just enough for the first down. And I think a Green Bay defender, actually, no, I guess that was just a two-minute warning. I thought someone got hurt. But either way, now Cam Meredith making that grab on the slant right there on first down. That was his first catch of the evening. Here we go, 35 seconds to play, second and goal. Adcock stepping up in the pocket. Where is he going to go with it? He's going to run, but he is brought down. We call timeout, 14 seconds to play, third and goal. Fading this one up to the end zone. It was on in the hands of Cornelius, but he couldn't come down with it. So fourth and goal. Season on the line right here. Adcock scrambling to his right, fires up his back foot. He's got Jeffrey in the back of the end zone. It's caught, but they rule him out of bounds. And take a look at the replay. This will go down as one of the worst calls in Madden history. Jeffrey clearly has both feet in bounds. He's got possession of the ball. He never even steps out. Look at this. You'll watch him go 
and that that left foot right there never quite goes out and you can see as he's falling to the ground he never even goes out of bounds how would the ref call him out of bounds that was inconceivable and then the Packers tried to give us the game right back there with five seconds left Rodgers runs the read option and fumbles it but somehow falls on it with like two seconds left and the next play they would just take a knee and run off the clock and the Packers steal an NFC championship here this game could have been ours probably should have been ours if Jeffrey scores that touchdown, we kick the extra point, we go up by one, we're probably winning that game. So, I don't know what you want to call that. I mean, definitely got screwed over there. Jeffrey clearly inbounds. I mean, that was just the game. You know, obviously can't challenge it inside two minutes, and the game decided not to review it. So, I don't know what was going on there that was uh, disappointing, but oh well. It is what it is. Adcock played pretty well, I thought. Only the one touchdown, but completed like 76% of his passes. I think he was 20 for 26. We let Lacey run all over us, although I guess if you take away that one long run, it wasn't too bad. And then touchdowns from uh, Miller, Henry, and Lacey. And on the defensive side of things, three sacks from their defensive line, and none from us. Jake Ryan had the only takeaway. So that is going to do it. Hope you guys did enjoy. Thanks for watching, and I'm out. Peace.